Hey, what's up guys? So I've been receiving some questions regarding video and I wanted to address a topic that's been coming up pretty consistently that would help everybody out. And the topic is adding subtitles to your videos. Courtney writes, is there an easy way to get the subtitles? It takes my guy at Fiverr a lot of work to add the subtitles. Trying to get a video a week ready to go out. Thanks so much. Now this really, because I used to be in that situation. I remember going on Fiverr, requesting somebody to add some text to my video. It took him a week to get the video out. And when I got it back, it wasn't exactly how I liked it. And I just wish I had more control over that process, which is part of the reason why I started to learn how to do video in the first place. And once I figured out how easy it was, it made me even more upset. So I don't want you guys to be in that situation. Plus, there's no reason for you guys to spend the 15 bucks and wait a week and not be satisfied. So I wanna give you two ways to add text to your videos. All you need is the video file and a computer, and it doesn't matter if you have a Mac or a PC, I'll show you how to do both. So let's go to our computers. I'm gonna start with Mac users first. Over here, I have the video clip that I'm gonna be using for this particular example. Uh, go into menu selections where your, all your applications are at. Click on iMovie. Once it pulls up, you'll go over here to create new and select on movie. Now you have a blank canvas. And what you wanna do is you want to pull that video clip into iMovie. You'll go and press this button right here, import media. And I have it on my desktop, so I'm gonna to go to my desktop, find the clip, my movie stock right there, import selected, and it'll pull up right over here, okay? So this is what iMovie looks like. If you guys have never been here before, um, this is the platform. Once you have your video in here, you'll want to click and drag it. And this bottom portion over here is called your timeline. Okay, this is where you'll do most of your editing, or all of your editing, really. So this is just a video clip of me, and this could be you guys as well, um, talking about market stats or market updates or a new property or whatever it is. At the very top over here, you have a few menu selections, um, audio, titles, backgrounds, transitions. If I go to titles right there and click on that, you'll pull up a bunch of different options for a different type of text that you can overlay onto your video. And if actually, if you scroll over them, it'll give you an example of what the text will look like, where it will be. Let's go over here. You wanna click and drag it and put it over your timeline, okay? I wanna expand this a little bit, so I wanna make it actually a little bit bigger. I'll press Command, the plus sign, and it'll make my timeline a little bit wider. You can think of it almost like zooming in. Uh, over here, I have that particular uh, text on my video over here. And so you'll press on that. Go over here to the top right. You can double click, and once you have it highlighted, you can delete it and then put in whatever you want there. Let's say I just put my name. And so let's say you don't like this text over here. You want it to be a different font, right? Or you want it to be placed in the center or over here to the right. So you wanna go up here and then you have these options for different fonts, right? So let's say you like something that looks a little bit more brush-like. So there's a bunch of different options here that you can choose from in order to create the look that you want. Um, if you want to change the placement of this, let's say you want it in the center, put that in the center right there. If you want it over to the right, Go ahead and put it over the right over there. You can add a bold, you can add italic, you can add anything you want to it, and you can also change the color as well. And just press on that, that little square right there for color, and it'll pull up this menu over here. You can change it to black, blue, brown. If you have different options on how bright you want it. So you can customize that, super easy to do. So that right there is how you overlay text onto a video. And depending on where you want it to show up is gonna be important, right? So let's say you actually don't want it in the very beginning. Go back over here and you can actually click and drag based off of where you want it. So over here, there's a timer right here that you can select. So you want it two seconds in, you can click and drag it all the way over to two seconds. And then once you play from the beginning, one, two, and then it'll show up right there. And then let's say uh, during the video, you're talking about different aspects or different points that you wanna talk about. Um, you want text to show up on uh, that time. So let's say around 10 seconds over here, you decide that you want to talk about property taxes. Same thing, you just go up to the top over here, double click on this property, click on the other one to change the other one, taxes. Let's say you only want this to be three seconds long. Go ahead and decrease the time and then go ahead and play it and boom there you go property taxes so let's say you're completely done with your video and you've added all of your text you want to save the video by going up here to the top right click on that button 
click on file. There'll be some saving options here. You can change the file name. Just keep in mind, if you change it here, it's only gonna change it within iMovie. Um, you can add description over here, change the resolution. Now the quality over here is going to have a direct correlation to how big the file size is going to end up. Now if you go with the lowest quality, it'll give you the smallest file size. And if you go with the highest quality where we're at just before, it'll give you the biggest file size. Compression over here just allows you to compress the file. Let's say for instance, you're trying to upload it to YouTube and you just want to have the fastest uploading time possible while keeping the best quality possible. Um, you want to click on faster. And if you just don't care about the uploading time, just click on best quality. That'll give you the best quality video that you'll get. Click on next. Now over here, if you change the file name, it's going to change it to where you save it to. Um, I have it defaulted to my desktop. Now, if I wanted to change this to like my video, uh, go ahead and click save. And when you're done, it should show up on your desktop right over here. All right, now, so for all you PC users, um, I have a program that you can actually use with both PC and Mac um, if you don't have access to iMovie. So let's open up a browser window. In the search bar, go ahead and type in movavi.com. All right, so now go ahead and go up to video. Go over here to video editor and then you have two options here for windows or for mac if we click on the windows page will come up right over here is where you want to click to download your free version and then if you have a mac just go ahead and click on mac and it's the same exact thing same button right there and then go ahead and click on that to download your free program once you have that downloaded make sure you know where you save it i saved it to my desktop over here um, go ahead and double click that and it'll process over here you want to double click on the icon let it go ahead and download into your computer. Once you're done, go into your applications and find the program in your applications. It's right there for me. And so this is what the Movavi platform looks like. Uh, very similar to iMovie. Um, there is some differences, but the program in itself is almost very similar. So you basically want to do the same thing. You want to import your media into this so you can go ahead and edit it. Up here at the top, it says add media files. Go ahead and click on that. Um, on my desktop, I have the stock video that we used before. Go ahead and open, and there you go. It'll show up into your timeline. If you want to play the video, go ahead and play it right there, and then you'll see it's exactly the same thing that we were working with before. Now, so if we want to do text here, it's almost very similar to what we had before. Over here at the top left, it has T. You want to click on that right there. And there are a ton of options here that are very different from what you'll see in iMovie and a lot of flexibility with this one too. So if we want to create something, uh, just go ahead and click on it, go ahead and drag, bring it off to the timeline there, and it'll show up. And then you'll notice over here, this is kind of what it'll look like. That probably isn't the best um, look for it. So you'll have to adjust some of these elements and iMovie is a little bit different. iMovie doesn't really give you that much flexibility to kind of change things. This one kind of does. So depending on how you like it, I like to change a few things here and there. So I kind of prefer this, but uh, different strokes for different folks. Um, so I'll bring that small circle over here, bring the text maybe over here, bring the bottom text over here. And same thing, uh, you'll just want to double click and delete. And then what I'll do is I'll add my name, Chris Kwan bottom over here add like a subtitle to that amazing realtor boom there you go now if you want to go ahead and play that and see what it's like go ahead and drag this to the very beginning press the play button right there and there you go so very similar to iMovie one thing that I did want to show you with this program so if you actually click on this over here up here at the top it'll give you the same kind of options that we had before if you press T you can change the font, which is nice. And this program actually gives you a ton of fonts to use. Over here, you can play with the uh, different sizes that you want. Um, also play with where you want the placement of it. And if you want it bold, italicized, or underlined, depending on how you would like that. Now, if you want to change the color of the font, you'll just press on this right here, color properties. Click on text and then this is all of the different options that you have to change the color of the font. So if you want to change it to black, if you want to go with the gray, some type of a, a red or a yellow, but there's your options right there. And then you can change the opacity of it too, which is also nice. So once you're done with all of your edits and you want to save your video, 
Go down to the bottom line and click export. But just keep in mind, you do need a paid version of Movavi. Uh, the nice thing is, is that it's not very expensive. So click on buy activation key. It'll open up this window right here and it'll give you some options depending on what you want to pay and what kind of a, a features that you wanted to have. Uh, just keep in mind, this is a very inexpensive option for Windows and PC and one of the better programs that I've seen for not a lot of money. So there are two options there that are very inexpensive to get text onto your videos. And once you get the hang of it, it should only take you a few minutes to actually do that. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching.